I want to ask one just about federal politics just quickly at the end here. We see that um, apparently Jim Chalmers didn't announce any major changes to superannuation, according to Albo today, despite the fact that, according to Channel 9, it was the biggest changes in 30 years, his own speech was about tax concessions, all the rest of it here. But most interestingly, and I think that this is what's going to tweak you, which is he talked about how equity was important at the end of all of this. Now, equity is not like equality, because equity is the equal outcome, that everyone ends up in the same place. Now, the reality is not everyone earns the same dollar, so which means when you have superannuation, some people have more, some people have less. Did it frighten you at all that the Treasurer of Australia was talking about equity in a system of your wages over your working lifetime? Well, it's a broken promise that he's talking at all about superannuation, because Labor said no changes. The policy was no change. Don't frighten the horses before the election, and now the horses are running after it. The Assistant uh, Treasurer said that everything's on the table uh, as part of this process. But, again, it's a question of property rights. Um, your average person putting money into a superannuation fund thinks, well, not surprisingly, that's my money. Yeah. And if in emergency circumstances, health, housing or whatever, I, I wouldn't mind some access to it. It's my money. Let me run my life. Labor sees this money as belonging to the trade union superannuation funds, which have become slush funds for the left of politics, and are investing in suboptimal um, investment opportunities, uh, like climate change mm. and Indigenous stuff. I mean, they, these funds only had one role, maximise the return to the people putting the finance in. And they're not doing that all that well. They're becoming sort of this... Um, uh, it's the hammer for this, the woke, this woke, yeah. this woke division of, of capitalism, mm -hmm. which is not about maximising returns to the people who actually own the money. So people have got to fight at the current time for their own money and access to it and the best possible financial return on it. Adios. Mark Latham, the leader of One Nation, joins us every single Wednesday night all the way up to the election and when re-elected, fingers crossed, well and truly beyond.